In this video, I'll be adding dust collection to my Delta Model 10 contractor's table saw. This contractor saw, like most, does not include a built-in dust collection system, so I have to custom make one. My dad built the rolling cart for this many years ago, and he left an opening below the saw for dust to fall through. I'll be filling this hole with a dust collection hood, which needs to be trimmed to fit the opening. <laughs> I attach an articulating 4 inch duct elbow to this hood. I previously used this hole saw to cut through some shingles, so it's terribly dull. So I really just used this to mark the hole size, then finish the cut with a jigsaw. This crimping tool allows the duct to sleeve into the next fitting. Taping all the joints and seams helps with airflow efficiency. I 
Until I get my large dust collector set up, this will be attached to my shop vac for dust collection. Now it's time to seal up the open areas on the back of the saw, at least as much as possible. This next piece will be removable, so I'll epoxy in some rare earth magnets, allowing it to be held in place while in use. I use some duct tape to seal the gaps around the dust hood. This cover has to be removed when the saw blade tilts. I haven't thought of a good way to make this usable when the blade tilts, but 95% of the time I make 90 degree cuts, so I can deal with the dust for that 5% of the time. While it certainly doesn't collect all the dust, it's a large improvement over having nothing at all. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful and instructive. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.